it wasn't until I was later in, in, in high school that I had my first biology tutor who sort of gave me the confidence that I could be a scientist. I was so not naturally good. So it's a tutor because good. you're acting. Correct. Right, so so I, was on, I was on this show Blossom from the no, time I was- No, you were Blossom. I was Blossom. Right. On the show oh, Blossom. Right. Well, yes. You were Blossom. Um, Just yes. make that clear. Correct. <laughs> but once I met this, this woman who was my biology tutor, that was sort of my, my real kind of coming out party of believing that I could be a scientist. I didn't even have the skill set because I had I had been paying attention all the previous years in math and science, but really just doing what I needed to to get by. I didn't really understand the beauty of science and, and math and that whole world until I was later into high school. And then obviously pursuing it in college was, you know, it, it, was, it was a party. So this saddens me, you know why? <laughs> not, not your story, but the fact. I've heard that before. <laughs> no, 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 that if the, that single person made a life difference to you. Right. How many people are missing that single person who can make um, a life distance? I mean, I, I can, I, I'm sure we could all run the stats on it. Many girls right, is, right. The, this, is the first answer. The, that's the first answer. And that's because, I mean, that's because of, you know, a historical difference in the representation of women in these fields and, and a, probably a cultural bias on the part of, of, of teachers and, and instructors. Um, and, and even administration. You How know, much like intellectual that. capital lay untapped uh, in this world? Do you want a number? <laughs> yeah, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I want numbers. Numbers, give me numbers. Don't just say it. I don't have them. <laughs> I, I think it's a... Wait, 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 this is Star Talk. We this don't leave Star you numberless when we can put numbers in this situation. You have the numbers? I, I have the power. I shouldn't have doubted no, you no, for a second. <laughs> no, I don't have the power to give you the numbers. I have the power to get someone to give you the numbers. Oh, okay. That's how that works. Right. <laughs> so I have the power to listen to those numbers. <laughs> so, Mona, can I get some numbers, please? All right. <laughs> Hi, Nick. Everyone, this is Mona Chalabi. She's a data journalist. Did you even know that thing existed? Mona, you got some numbers for us to bring some of this into focus. I do. I wanted to try and answer my M's question as directly as possible. So I wanted to find out how many female scientists America is missing. And the number that I came to is 80,000. Missing meaning they might have been scientists, but some force prevented that from happening. Exactly, okay, exactly. Okay, okay. And I just took biologists, chemists, and a category called other natural scientists. And I worked out how many women you would need to just get to a 50-50 gender split. And that's when I got 80,000. So when you say 80,000, it's just 80,000 in those professions. Exactly. You're, you're leaving out uh, uh, engineering and physics and- Mathematics. Mathematics yeah. and all the rest of this. Yeah. Okay, but presumably, uh, equal access, equal opportunity, doesn't require equal outcome. So that, that missing number presumes that if everything were even, then everything would be even. Right, but we know that we don't have equal access, right? Mayim touched on it in the clip and it's really, really relevant. So I also looked at some of the cultural barriers that stop women from going into the sciences. Now we know that statistically, women are less likely to be hired by science faculty, they're less likely to be asked to perform mathematical tasks, and they're less likely to have their academic papers deemed of high quality. And I know that last bit because of research by a female scientist called Emma Pearson. Now what Emma did was she looked at 938,301 one academic scientific papers and she found that the average male scientist publishes 45 percent more papers than the average female scientist so you're saying we're, we're messed up that's what you're saying yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That, that's how to be messed up in numbers numbers are showing how messed up you are that's right